Welcome to this uplifting and energizing yoga flow. Find your way into a comfortable cross-legged position in the center of your mat. Hands into prayer. Close your eyes and begin to lengthen and deepen your breath. Filling and emptying your lungs. I invite you now to take this moment to set an intention. Lift out through the arms above the head, connect your palms. Bringing your left hand down to the side of your body and moving into a side body stretch. Breathe deeply here into your lungs, opening through your whole thoracic area. If it's uncomfortable looking up, you can also turn your gaze down. Just hold and breathe for a few more rounds of breath. On your next inhale, let's lead with that right hand, moving towards the right side, moving into the same stretch but on the other side. Reaching across towards the right side through the left arm. And again, deep breaths, opening your chest. Be mindful that your spine is straight and that you're not collapsing forwards or backwards. On your next inhale, come back to center. Let's move straight back into the left side, coming back into that side body stretch. Let's move into a unique stretch together. Lift your right leg up and bring it down to the side, keeping your left leg as it is. Now rotate the body down and around, bringing your right arm under your right leg and connecting your hands behind your back. And here is a modification on that pose. Explore and do whatever feels best for you. Now from here we want to lift and open through the chest looking up towards the sky. We want to use the breath, the inhale, the expansion on the lungs to open up the whole upper body moving into the back and shoulders as well. So breathe nice and deep. Let's all take one last big breath in here before we exhale and release. Gently move that right foot back into a cross-legged position. Inhale and extend through both arms, connecting the palms. And exhale, drop your right hand down, moving into that side body stretch. Bringing that left leg up now, moving on an exhale. Drop that left shoulder down, rotating the body and coming around. Slip your left arm under the left leg and come into your bind. I'm going to just show you that modification again so that you can decide which is best for you today. Wherever you are, just hold and breathe. You can also close your eyes which will connect you deeper to your breath and to your body as well. So we'll take one last deep inhale together and on that exhale let's release. Bring that left foot into a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and straight. Let's transition from here into a tabletop foundation. Then curling those toes around, tuck them under and we're going to lean back into those heels, lifting up through the upper body and giving the underside of your feet a nice stretch. Arms and index fingers pointed up towards the sky. Hold and breathe. Moving on your next exhale, connect your hands behind the back, interlace your fingers behind the back and extend your arms. Slowly come forward through the upper body, release your toes and gently lower your forehead to the ground. 
arms still pointed up towards the sky as you stretch the shoulders and open out through the back, also open through your chest as well. As we allow the body to open up here, just close your eyes and focus inward on your breathing. Nice and slow, gentle breath. On your next inhale, pull those arms back and return to a seated position. Inhale your arms up above the head and exhale as you reach forward, making your way back to tabletop foundation and begin rolling through some cat cows. Exhale as you lift your spine, relax your head and neck and inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Move to your own rhythm and speed, matching your physical movements to your in and exhale. Wherever you are, let's tuck those toes around and push back to downward facing dog. Pressing out through the floor in our downward dog, relaxing the neck and drawing those heels down. Maybe it feels good to walk out your dog here, just play around with what works for you. Let's all take a deep breath in together and on the exhale, roll yourself out to high plank. Adjust your arms so that your wrists are beneath the shoulders and then rolling back to down dog. Keep this going, moving from down dog to high plank and rolling through each movement. Keep that connection to breath and work on being as fluid and flexible through the spine as your body will allow. Wherever you are, roll yourself out to high plank and move through your chaturanga. Keep your elbows into the body. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale as you push back to downward facing dog. Be aware of and release any tension you may be holding in your jawline or your face. Start to walk your feet up the central line of your yoga mat, making your way up to the hands at the front. Coming into a forward fold, inhale to halfway lengthen and exhale as you step back through the right leg. Gently lower that right knee down and move your upper body up into a low lunge. Take your time as you lift up, tilt your pelvic ball forwards, engage your core. Begin to gently release your body weight into the stretch and into your hips bringing your attention back to the breath. You want to fill and empty your lungs with every in and exhale. Together, let's take one last deep breath in here. And then on that exhale, lift that back knee off the ground and come to high lunge. Bring your arms down by the side and then bring both of your hands on top of your heart. Gently bring your shoulders back and look up as you take a deep breath in. And then release your arms, bringing them up above your head. Then slowly bring your hands down in front of you and lift that back leg up. Moving into half split, we're going to move into a bit of mobility work, moving into our right hip. Keeping your core engaged, begin to bend the knee. Bring the knee into the chest and then extend it back, moving to your own rhythm. Wherever you are, let's just hold that there and transition to half moon. Keeping just the left fingertips down, right arm up, shoulders stacked, hips stacked. And let's release by bringing that right hand down. Lower your right leg down and come into warrior two. Check your feet placements and make sure that you're moving into the right dimensions of the body. And from warrior two to triangle, straightening that front leg and coming down. Here we want our shoulders stacked, 
those left fingertips on the ground will offer you balance and support. Make sure that your core is tightly engaged. Let's take one last inhale and on that exhale let's come up bending into that front knee moving back to warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down to the ground and move back into half split lifting the right leg back up again. Engaging your core and driving that right knee forwards. Bringing your right leg on top of your left moving into standing pigeon and leaning back, moving your weight into your standing heel and your hips. Hands in front in prayer. Hold and breathe. release, gently allow your right leg to slide down your standing left. Move your way into a forward fold, bringing your right toes to the other side of your left foot. With your left leg straight, lean your way back into those hips and standing heel. You should feel an acute stretch here. On your next inhale, bring your feet side by side, coming back to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen and exhale as you jump back and through into your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale as you push back to downward facing dog. Take an active rest here in your downward facing dog, checking that your posture is correct. Pulling those heels down. Relaxing your neck and pushing out through the hands. Core engaged and breathing through your nose. Option here to step or jump up to the front of your mat. Inhale to halfway lengthen and exhale to forward fold. Now slide your palms underneath your feet and draw yourself closer to your legs. Again, this should feel like an acute stretch through the legs and lower back. Close your eyes, relax into the posture and just breathe through it. And let's release those hands, inhale to halfway lengthen, exhale step back with the left leg. We're going to move through the same sequence through the other side. So slowly and gently lower that left knee and move to low lunge, core engaged, pelvic ball tilted forwards and begin to release your weight into the stretch. Now let's drop those arms down by your side and bring both hands on top of your heart. Bringing the palms of your hands onto your heart and lifting that back knee. Coming up and into high lunge. Just gently bringing those shoulders back, chest extended as you open through the heart. And release your arms and lift them up above your head and then drop them down in front of you moving into half split. Left leg extended and then we're going to begin to move our knee in and out from the chest. Just gently working our way into the hips.
Wherever you are, let's finish up and move into half moon. Stacking your hips, right fingertips to the ground, left arm extended and shoulders stacked, core tightly engaged. Hold and breathe. Now prepare to lower that left foot down and move into warrior two. Let's take one deep breath in from our warrior two. Extend your front right leg and move into triangle pose, dropping down through the right fingertips, stacking your shoulders and reaching up through the left arm. towards the ground. We're going to transition from here back to warrior two and then from warrior two cartwheel your arms down bringing them to the front. Lift your left leg back for a breath into half split and then bring your feet together and we're going to come into our standing pigeon. Bringing that left leg on top of your bent standing right. Lean your weight back into those hips and heel. Then slowly allow that left leg to slide down the right, resting the toes of your left foot on the other side of your right foot, with your right leg straight and leaning back into those hips and heel, releasing your body weight into the stretch. On your next inhale, let's release. Bring your left foot on the other side of the right, standing back to forward fold. Now slowly lower your body down as you bend deeply into your knees, bringing your bum down to the ground. Move really nice and slow, extending your arms in front of you for balance. As you come down, bring the soles of your feet together. We're going to move from here into reclined butterfly. So slowly and gently bring your spine down. Again, extend your arms in front of you, which will help to balance you. Allowing your knees just to fall out to the side here. This will be our final resting pose of the practice. Bring your palms down onto your thighs and open the palms up to the sky. Close your eyes and relax fully into the posture. Allow yourself to drift on the gentle rhythm of your in and exhale. And to connect even deeper with your breaths, you can bring one hand to your heart and the other to your belly, connecting with how the body rises and falls with every in and exhale.
thank you so much for joining me. It is truly such an honor that you choose to practice with me. If you enjoy the class, subscribe now. I release weekly classes, yoga, meditation, mindfulness. You can use my classes as a tool to help you connect on a deeper level with yourself, find more peace, and to offer your body and mind some self-love through action. I release weekly classes, so hit that bell notification icon so that you can meet me on the mat for next time. Wishing you a beautiful day. Namaste.